There's no question about it. Giving feels good, and it makes you happy and strong, physically strong. It's a fact. So if you want to be strong and happy, you learn to give. That, friends, is what we call philanthropy. When it comes to time, talent, or treasure, there are lots of different ways to give. And throughout history, philanthropists have changed the course of our communities, our country, and the world. And so, my fellow Americans, ask not what your country can do for you. Ask what you can do for your country. Uh, I tried to have it. as little anger as possible. I, I tried to use it to tr help people who were suffering and many who were discouraged and did not have the courage to try to take a stand for themselves. There is an indefinable, mysterious power that pervades everything. I feel it, though I do not see it. When you help someone directly, you are giving face to face, person to person, or maybe person to animal. You do something to address a need. Cheer on racers at an event. Maybe you help paint a mural on an old, worn-out building to make a neighborhood look better, clean up a park, or volunteer to read to animals. Giving can also be indirect. You might organize a drive to collect books, school supplies, or toys for children right in your hometown. Or put your amazing jumping skills to the test and get people to sponsor your jump-a-thon so you can fund a well in Haiti. In these cases, you may never see the people you help, but you know you made a difference. Advocacy means supporting a cause, and it's another way to give. If you want to help people be healthier, you might make posters showing healthy choices or host a health fair at your school. You could hold a meeting to show people why exercise or participating in team sports is good. Maybe you think people in your school should be nicer, so you help create a movement and show others how they can pay an act of kindness forward. When you advocate, you use your voice to influence or get people to get on board with a movement. Another way to give your time is to do research about an issue or topic. Maybe you help take water samples from a lake and then share how good it is or isn't with your community to get them to act. You could survey your classmates about safety. If there is a safety need, Propose an idea or program that can help. When you do research and share your findings, you become the teacher and help educate and bring issues to life in your community. As you can see, there are many ways to give, and every one of them is important. When you give, it's contagious, in a good way. The people you help and those who see you are inspired to give too. Giving your time, talent, or treasure while taking action for the common good is good for all. <laughs>